So another good day today. The electric motor works. This is um, the first copy of um, our next open source hardware project, a Micro Due. So this little board here is a uh, multi-layer board with the Atmel chip, the same chip that is used in Arduino Due. But um, as you can see, the board is about one sixth of the footprint of the um, Arduino Due. It's double-sided, so on the back we have a number of uh, passive components that are necessary to run the microprocessor like this, microcontroller rather, and a few interesting things. So one chip here uh, is a um, EEPROM uh, for persistent storage. Uh, one of the features that is sorely missed in Arduino Due. Another one, uh, a bigger chip that you can see interrupting the set of rows is a CAN bus transceiver put on the first channel, um, first uh, ch CAN controller on the uh, Atmel chip and um, a bunch of uh, various passive elements. Uh, there is a crystal installed for the 32 kilohertz uh, RTC real-time clock and it's the main chip on top. In total this board has about 90 pins. Everything is, um, all the peripherals of note are broken out, including uh, both CAN controllers. Uh, one of them, as I mentioned, uh, has a transceiver, so it's ready to be plugged in into CAN bus uh, in the vehicle, for example. It has um, Ethernet uh, broken out uh, for the reduced media interface. Uh, which is still sufficient to uh, plug in the uh, physical interface module. It's got um, 11 analog inputs and um, I believe around 30 digital inputs and outputs and a number of other things including four URT channels and so on. So now we are going to plug it in. So the board is now plugged in. Um, we took a page from a book by various Arduino Duo clones. Um, this one is Tajiduino, a programming board. Uh, we use it to program the Atmel chip on this board. So similar boards like this, this is Iduino board and there are a number of others. Actually this board is also capable to be programmed over a native USB. Uh, which is not on the board, um, on the small board because of space, but it will be provided um, as one of the things on this landing board, which by the way has Arduino Una shield footprint and a number of other things. So you could use Arduino Uno shields um, on top of uh, this micro duo board. So let's try to program our first sketch into this uh, very first micro duo board. So we're going to go over to the computer. This is by the way the PCB file for uh, the micro duo board. We're going to go to our Arduino framework and let's try to upload. Programming the board for the first, well actually not the first time but one of the first times. And says verify successful, CPU reset, let's see what's happening. Let's launch serial monitor. It's gonna appear in the corner here. Oop. It is alive. All right, so this is a little demo of the micro duo boards, which we are now going to be Moving into uh, limited production, so uh, stay tuned.